Welcome to the Toronto 2017 North American Indigenous Games opening ceremony. I'm Duncan McHugh. Alberta, l'équipe de l'Alberta. That I got a chance to to MC the opening ceremonies, the first night of, of the Indigenous Games, when there are teams from across Turtle Island, right across North America, from the United States and from Canada. Almost 140 athletes will compete from the Yukon this year. And to see thousands, I mean, there were five, six, seven thousand uh, people in the stadium, all gathered in the name of sport and Indigenous culture. It can be dark and gloomy to, co to cover news. There can be an awful lot of death and destruction. And particularly when it comes to covering Indigenous news stories, uh, there's an awful lot of tragedy. To watch the Indigenous Games was an entirely different uh, side of Indigenous life in this country. And, and, and that's what I think was so memorable for me. I mean, the idea behind the Games, the original idea why the Indigenous Games were created was to give youth, Indigenous youth, something positive that they could look forward to, something positive that they could aspire to. I liked playing um, British Columbia last night. Um, they were a really sweet team, like off the court, and they were really good on the court, like skill-wise. My favorite moment, my buddy's dog, number five, he got a poster yesterday. Oh yeah, that was, that was pretty all right. I like that, I like that too. I think when you're done your event, the relief of proving to yourself that you did well and that you tried the best that you can, it feels so good inside of you. Every event that I got a chance to be part of, whether it was the unveiling of the mascot, who was named Dubuiwin, he's a turtle, who carried a, a lacrosse stick. Uh, are you excited to be here? <laughs> I mean, it's fantastic to see this, this Ojibwe turtle, you know, uh, walking around and shaking hands with the little kids and stuff like that. And Dubuiwin uh, means truth in Ojibwe. Um, that, to me, was, was just a wonderful moment. You know, these young Indigenous athletes are just like athletes everywhere. They, they have worked hard to get to the level that, uh, of achievement that they've, they've reached. Um, they have dreams of, of uh, winning. They, uh, and and some, for some of them, just being able to compete uh, is, is success. Just meeting new people. Just Getting, just getting to know people is just kind of great. Right when we landed in Toronto, I loved it. <laughs> Seeing the view down off the plane. Defense! Give it high fives, that's my favorite thing. If, if I was to say to the average Canadian, you know, what, what's your impression based on the news of Indigenous youth? You would, I mean, I think many people would immediately say suicide. And that's true, I mean, Indigenous youth have a much, uh, the, the rates of suicide amongst Indigenous youth are much, much higher than they are for non-Indigenous youth. They might think about the young Indigenous girls that we see over and over and over again who go missing or who end up murdered. Th those are the kinds of stories that I think Canadians have gotten, unfortunately, accustomed to hearing about Indigenous youth. I feel like there's such a stigma around Natives, like all they're about is you know, but the bad stuff. There's not enough positive around youth, natives. So it's like something for kids to look forward to in, instead of like feeling sad about stuff or just get into bad habits. So by like making the nag games, they say, wow, if I like go to my practices and I train really hard instead of doing other things, then I can be rewarded in a big way. The thing about the games is that the, the Indigenous Games highlighted and profiled that there are Indigenous youth out there who are succeeding, who are working to, to, to make not only their own lives better, but the lives of their community better through sport, through culture, through, through arts and, and, and entertainment. And Indigenous Games wrapped all that up. I'm going to remember all of this for sure. It's an amazing experience to have and to keep forever. I like how everybody's like is a group as a family and everybody's supporting each other and it's a lot of love. 
there's something pretty special about about indigenous athletes gathering to compete against ourselves. Uh, it's it's a it's a good feeling of of nationhood.